This is Chris Yannick Painter here on Paint Live TV. I get a lot of questions across all of my platforms, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and then some of the other ones. What sprayer do I recommend? So I get a lot of people asking me, what would be a good sprayer to buy for the very first sprayer? If you're starting a company, I get do-it-yourselfers asking me, you know, what's an affordable sprayer you would buy to do the projects around the house? I have three sprayers here in front of me. These are Titan 440 and 410 models. And I'm gonna talk about you know, a sprayer that I highly recommend for a small, affordable sprayer. So stay tuned for this video if you wanna know what I recommend. This Titan 410 right here, it's uh, you know, kind of more of a stripped down model. It's about $100 less. This was about $950 when I originally purchased it. You can even see it's got one of the older LX Gate 80 guns on it, two, uh, two finger gun back then. Um, doesn't have a safety gauge on it anymore, it broke. This is, um, this model right here comes with the LX 80 gun. I've actually put on the RX Pro guns. I like the RX Pro guns because the trigger pull is a lot lighter on the RX Pro gun. But this, this model is about $100 cheaper than the Titan 440 Impact. These are great pumps. This is, you can't get the 440i anymore. Uh, you can get these two pumps right here. If, in your, if you're a professional painter, in the market, you don't have more than a thousand dollars to spend. The Titan, um, you know, stripped down model without all the bells and whistles will save you a hundred dollars. So you're looking at probably more like eight hundred to eight hundred and fifty dollars for this. But um, very, very similar internal workings, of motors, uh, fluid sections a little bit different. You know, on the um, 440 Impact, this is the same fluid section on the I and the 410. These two are just absolute workhorses. Uh, for a do-it-yourself right now, this could be a lot of money to spend, you know, on a sprayer, a thousand dollars. But you know, this sprayer, you know, it lasted me, you know, uh, 18, 19 years. If you're a do-it-yourself for all your projects from painting your house multiple times, your fences, your decks, you can spray the whole interior of your house, your trim, everything. A thousand dollars is a great investment. I do install the HEA gauges because you know, kind of one of the things that these small pumps don't come with is digital readouts of what the pressure is. And I do like to know, you know, what pressure I'm spraying. And I typically really like to know it at the pump. I do have, I've been doing some testing, HEA gauges, you need to know, you know, when you're spraying what the pressure is at your gun. And so I have one installed at the gun and the pump here, because I've been testing to see what the difference is with different lengths of hose. Once you've determined you know, um, you know, the product you're spraying, the length of the hose is the, gonna be the same every time. You know exactly where to put your dial, and I have my dial. Typically when I'm spraying, um, like an exterior spraying a door, I have my dial, what I call it, two o'clock on these pumps. But these pumps are great pumps. If you wanna know what I would recommend for a small pump, I would really go with Titan, a Titan 440 Impact, or a Titan 410. You know, I, I would even probably, and, you know, side more on the, the Titan 410 because I just really like, you know, basic things that just don't have a lot of things that will break on them. And so it's a great model. So here you go. If you um, want to know what, what the heck is the lime green hoses, these are my uh, custom hose whips that I like, you know, certain flexibility. I like a certain length and diameter of the hoses. A hose whip, you, have, you really must have a hose whip. It makes the gun easier to maneuver. It doesn't cause as much wrist fatigue when you're spraying. This is a 25 foot hose whip. So the whole hose is a whip itself. That way you don't have to load up as much uh, paint because the inside diameter of a hose whip is smaller. So it does, doesn't take as much paint to load up. And um, I use this typically for painting just doors. So if I'm doing front doors, I have um, a small sprayer that I use just for doors. So this one's got a hose and a whip, a 50 foot hose and a whip on it. This actually has a 25 um, foot hose and a three foot whip attached to it. So here's an extremely more affordable do-it-yourself model. And this is gonna come with a lot less expensive gun. It's a very lightweight 
a do-it-yourself airless sprayer, and this is gonna cost you probably $250. And you know, it's good enough to do some home improvement projects you know, around the house. You know, if you're a professional painter, you're probably gonna burn that thing up you know, extremely quick. I would say it's probably rated for about 200 to 300 gallons at most, and you're gonna wear out the motor after that. So when it comes to guns, you know, if I, when I buy a pump, a lot of them come with four finger guns. I really like purchasing guns that have two finger um, triggers. I like more control of my gun because you're, you know, controlling your gun with two fingers and squeezing with the other two, two fingers. So whenever I uh, purchase a pump, if it comes with a four finger gun, a lot of times they have the option now, you know, you can switch it from two to four finger. Um, but a lot of times you're going to come with a lot less expensive gun. This is... You know, the step down the LX80 right here, but it did have a two finger option. There you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you got something about, you know, uh, pumps. You know, if you're in the market for a pump, a small pump, affordable pump. If you've enjoyed this video, if you got any questions or comments about these pumps, just leave it down in the comment section below. Um, if you've used these pumps and you want to um, give us any suggestions of what you think about them, leave them down in the comment section below. We enjoy hearing what you have to say as much as you listening to what I have to say. Hopefully we'll see you on our next video. Your eyes on my eyes. Out.